Are you getting this error message whilst trying to publish to the web? Well, imagine transforming your complex data into stunning, interactive visuals accessible to anyone with just a click. Whether you're aiming to showcase insights to your team, share breakthroughs with stakeholders, or make your analysis truly public, publishing your Power BI report to the web unlocks a world of possibilities. In the next few minutes, we'll dive deep into a step-by-step -step process, uncovering tips and tricks to ensure that your reports not only reach a wider audience, but also shine with professionalism and clarity. Are you ready to elevate your data storytelling? Well, let's get started. Okay, so the first things first, we're going to basically start here in Power BI Desktop. Right, this is a blank canvas. This is not going to be anything pretty, but we're just going to go through the basics and keep this tutorial really quite clean and simple and basically show you exactly what needs to happen here. So first thing we do is going to add a quick table here. We've got some sample data. There's nothing glamorous about this, guys. And um, we're just going to go ahead and add person, location, let's say date. Uh, we'll add the click, the ad spend, and maybe we'll add the impressions in here as well, maybe even the units sold. Okay, so we have some very basic data here. We can see that we can adjust the dates. We'll do that from the drop down menu here on the right hand side and just change it back to a date. And there we go, right? This is my amazing report. <laughs> It really isn't. Um, you guys can criticize this in the comments below. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to quickly give this a save. Okay, this is a sample report. We're going to click publish. This has actually technically already been published to my workspace, but I'm going to publish it again anyway. It's going to tell me do you want to overwrite it, etc. I'm going to click replace. Um, and then basically that's now up in the Power BI cloud. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll jump on over into our um, Google Chrome. Okay, so what you've got going on is Power BI um, has basically now published that to the service, right, which is this one here at powerbi.com or app.powerbi.com. Now in here, you could obviously navigate to your workspace, etc. I'm just going to give this a quick refresh. We should see the most recent file down here at the bottom which it hasn't actually come through uh, just yet. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go over to my workspaces, my workspace, and we should be able to find our sample report right here. Okay, so you can see this report. If I give that a click, that's going to load it up here uh, for us. We'll have to look at the sample data uh, for this. So this is the report that we've made in Power BI Desktop, but this time it's in the cloud, right? Now, what you want to do is basically make this report accessible to anyone with a URL, right? a specific URL that people can click and basically see your data, right? Uh, in order to do that, you need to export it, okay? As you go to file, well, not the export button here uh, or the share button over this side here. And if you come to file here, you'll be able to see that it's actually missing from the options to uh, publish it to the web. Now, if this is your case, it means that the ability to publish to the web has been deactivated by your admin. So let me go ahead and show you what you would need to do. You'd head over to office.com as an administrator. Um, you'd head on over to the admin panel. That's going to load up your admin center. In here, I click on the uh, more options and we're looking for admin centers. And at the bottom here is all admin centers once you're in there you have this you have the power bi admin center that would load up this screen right here okay so from here what you want to do is you want to find the tenant um tenant uh, settings okay and scroll down until you find the section that is for export and sharing settings from here you can see that there is a publish to the web option right here if we click into this you can see that on my account it is actually deactive if i go ahead and enable it Okay, we then get additional options, allow users to create new embed codes. This is one that you're going to want to tick and um, applies to the entire organization or specific security groups if you wanted to. So if you wanted to have security around this, you could, of course, uh, make sure that it applies to very specific people or a group of people um, within your organization. I'm going to click it, keep it as the entire organization and click apply. Now, this means it's going to take approximately 15 minutes for that to take effect. So we'll just give this video a bit quick pause and I'll see you in 15. Okay, so now that that has all kind of synced up, we can now come back to our report and we can click file and we can go to the embed report and we now have the ability to publish to the web. We can give that a click and it's going to say contact your admin to enable the embed code creation. Now, if you see this message, it means that the information hasn't quite pulled across. So we'll give it another few minutes and see if we can actually publish this to the web. Okay, so now that you have that done, you can of course come over to file 
go down to embed report, click on publish to the web. And you can see here now we have a new pop up menu. This means uh, it's giving you a bit of a warning, essentially, essentially saying anyone with the URL will be able to basically digest your data. OK, so you want to make sure that you read this, you understand this and that it is in line with your company policies. Once you're happy with it, you click continue and then it will tell you another warning message. You just click go ahead and click publish. And this is going to give you the link that you can send in an email or HTML code that you can paste into a website. If you use the um, one that you're going to embed, uh, you can go ahead and change the uh, size of the uh, window and so forth. Um, you can even put a placeholder image in place, uh, etc. We're just going to copy this link right here and we're going to click close. We'll come over to a brand new page and go ahead and hit enter on that. And this is now going to give us our data in our web browser. That means anyone with the URL, okay, it's a unique URL for this report. Anyone with that will be able to access your data. This is super useful for being able to share reports amongst colleagues or friends, or maybe you have created a wonderful public report that you don't mind. It's using public data and you want to share it out to the wider public. Well, in which case, this is how you would go ahead and do it. Hopefully this video has been helpful and informative. If it has, smash that like button, guys. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and stay up to date with all the hints and the tips that I have here for Microsoft 365 and beyond. Guys, don't forget to check out that video right there. It's probably one you don't want to miss.